A família mais poderosa da Nickelodeon está de volta. Após quatro temporadas de sucesso, os Thundermans fazem seu retorno às telinhas com uma nova e grandiosa aventura, que já está disponível na Paramount Plus para você curtir. Após um hiato de pouco mais de sete anos, a família de super-heróis reencontra seus fãs com o longa O Retorno dos Thundermans. Na trama, os protagonistas terão que retornar à cidade de Hiddenville, depois que um acidente os tira de seus cargos no combate ao crime. E para comemorar o aguardado retorno dos gêmeos Phoebe e Max, o Cinepop bateu um papo com os atores Kira Kozarin e Jack Griffo, que revelaram detalhes sobre o mais novo projeto. Thank you so much for being here with me. Congratulations on the Thundermans. What a huge comeback. Thank yeah. you. Thank Not, you. Uh, uh, the show is a huge hit. Mm. It was a huge hit. And it's been a long time since we last saw the whole family. Yeah. Tell me, how does it feel to come back, especially here in Brazil? Because the last time you guys were here was like nine years nine ago. Nine years ago, yeah. Amazing. It's amazing. It's, you know, not only is it the first time the fans have seen us all together, it's the first time we've all been together mm -hmm. in six years, which is very special. And Brazil has always been such an amazing place. The fans here are so wonderful so it's really fun to be here. It felt so natural honestly coming back you know when we first started hearing that it might happen there was a little bit of like oh well who knows how it's gonna go yeah. really and and really from the first day on set it was just so natural everyone just picked up where we left off yeah. and it felt really really right and I think the fans are gonna see how happy we really we were to, to be back playing these characters we love these characters. So. It was one day of us all being like what's, what's happening, happening? <laughs> and then it was like Oh, oh yeah. We're just this doing this thing yeah. that we know how to do. Yeah. And I was going to ask you precisely that because I was thinking like, how was it to go back to those costumes, those superhero costumes? Like the first time you guys put the outfit back again after like long mm. years, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever have that dream that you're back in high school? <laughs> It felt like that. Yeah. We we were just like it's a glitch yeah. in the time loop. It felt like it couldn't be real. Well, it's it's funny because we were kids when we did the show. I was 16 to 20 and then the show ended and I felt like I really had to take some time to kind of grow up on I mean and find out who I was yeah. and so um, now, five, six years later, it's like I'm a, we're whole new people, but we're going back to these characters and it feels like a new version almost and new and improved, you know? So same and so different. Yeah, I love what you said because uh, now that you guys are all grown up, you're coming back to the family and it feels like you're bringing something different to both of your characters, right? Absolutely, totally. yeah. Both. It was fun, a fun challenge to try to figure out like, how much do we want to play this the way we used to and how much do we want to like let their voices grow and let their sense of humor change i feel like by the end of the series there was only like two or three ways that i would say any given line as phoebe because she it was such a specific voice and then as we got back to the movie i was like do i switch it up should i make her different and as soon as i got on set i was like nah she's phoebe <laughs> phoebe's phoebe and what's amazing about paramount plus is that they give you the freedom to uh, i wouldn't say rebrand the character but make it better elevate. like bigger elevate exactly yeah. that's what we saw with iCarly with the iCarly reboot mm -hmm. which i i me too. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's good to to see Thundermans getting this second try, you know, with the fans. Now that all of you are grown up, the audience is also grown up, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we're in such an interesting position where a lot of the audience is grown up. Um, some of them are even close to our age. But there's also this whole other audience who found the show during the pandemic who were young and are new fans of the show. Like, kids who don't even, I think, know it's been 10 years since the show started. And so we, we really wanted to try to make something that the old fans loved and felt seen by but that the new fans who are just watching the show for the first time can also really enjoy it doesn't rely too heavily on the nostalgia but it's also very nostalgic yeah it's such a big part of Kira and I's lives I mean from the beginning till now it's it's crazy that we have you know uh, people out of college age kind of coming up to us and saying oh we're, we're their childhood and I met a fan with a kid yeah she was like know? my kids watching the show now like like we were saying like the fans are really grown up and then we also have little four or five year olds you know who just started watching the show it's really truly incredible i love the legacy that the show gives the audience because uh we have a huge audience for the show here in brazil mm -hmm. you guys have an amazing fan base and did you know that this fan base would be so big the first time you guys came here was at the beginning of the show and now you're here 2023. we never could have expected no. it no <laughs> i actually have a very funny story that i'll tell really quickly okay. we were uh, being brought to the Kids' Choice Awards, and the show had only been on for like a year, so there were some fans here, but it wasn't crazy yet, and they got us ready to walk out the car into the venue, and they were like, we need all security, this is gonna be crazy, there's gonna be thousands of fans,
fans and paparazzi, we gotta protect you. And we were like, okay. And we walked out the door and there were like two people. It was very <laughs> And then yesterday when we landed in Sao Paulo, it actually was that at the airport. There were dozens of fans and paparazzi and we were just like, whoa, yeah. this is what we thought it would be nine years ago, but of course it wasn't, but it's just grown since then. It was very cool. And it's good to see like all of that growing process, right? Yeah, totally. Amazing guys, thank you so much. It was a huge pleasure. Thank to you talk so to much. You. So great to you meet you. You guys are amazing. So funny. So fun. <laughs> it's good to know that you guys like get along really well. Yeah, That's we do. Really nice. yeah. Ten years later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's still going strong. Still going strong. <laughs> Será que essa família de heróis vai conseguir salvar o mundo? Descubra em o retorno dos Thundermans.